Hi. Right. Today I'm going to talk about um, the signs and symptoms you might be getting if you are long sighted and if you're not sure um, whether you are or not, uh, what to look out for. Um, now, the first thing you might expect me to say, well, things are blurry close up. Um, <laughs> but in fact, um, it's a bit of a surprise here. The last thing you will actually be getting problems with is your eyesight. That will actually come last. Um, as I explained in the media, uh, the video about common myths about long sightedness, um, the the eye is very very good at accommodating uh, for close distances. So here's a list of the general um, signs that you would be getting. Right, the the first thing that you would happen is. Um, there'd be some sort of difficulty in doing um, close tasks like handwriting um, <coughs> or sewing or stuff like that. Now you may be able to do them perfectly well um, you know e even as a child but you may be slower or you may lose concentration. Um, so that's the first thing and it's the sort of thing that will get more difficult over time really. Um, the biggest thing um, that people get is neck pain, especially when they're trying to read, um, shoulder pain, back pain, because obviously you're having to tense up more and more as the years progress to see the book in front of you. Um, and a lot of, there's an awful lot of people out there with neck pain, shoulder pain, don't know why. Um, it might be worth a while um, just seeing if, if a pair of reading glasses would ease that situation for them. Um, right, another thing that happens is like I say you may be able to read perfectly well but you find you get irritable when you're reading or, or you get a bit hyper um, or you know you get hyper at the start and then you tire easily in comparison to other people. Um, especially if you're trying to read something which demands close attention like um, something technical for instance where you have to do sums um, and the other thing that can become apparent is that during times when you're having to read a lot say if you're studying um, you're more prone to illnesses like coughs and colds and what have you and then say you have a holiday and you're so much better. Um, now it could just look like general stress um, but obviously if you can pinpoint oh when I read that's how I get um, that may be a sign that you, a pair of glasses would probably help you. Um, the other thing this might come a little bit later um, headaches, migraines, uh, sensitivity to light. Um, one of the things can be getting very hyperactive and distractible whenever an electric light is switched on. Um, again that, that could look like ADHD or autism or something like that. Um, because you've got a bit of eye strain by that point. Um, you're right your eyes are not coping that well and it's sort of sending confusing messages to your brain and your body. Um, the quite a common thing that happens is you get um, problems with your hands like tendonitis when you've got to do writing um, because obviously you're having to look at the page, you're having to grip the pencil, focus on what you're doing at really quite a short distance. So if you're gripping the pencil very, very hard every time you write and it sort of gets worse, again it gets worse with age over time, um, that's quite, um, that's something to look out for. And you know with, with some people when they're, when they're writing um, something to look out for in kids as well. If they're sort of scoring holes in the page when they're writing, um, again it might be worth getting an eye check for that. Um, 
Now, this sort of comes really at the very end. You start getting eye strain. <laughs> if you start getting eye strain when you're looking at something up close, um, that, that's a fairly obvious sign. Uh, you need to go and get yourself a pair of glasses. Um, this will tend to happen after all the other things have sort of clocked up over the years really. Um, because, as I mentioned before, the eye's ability to accommodate. Um, you'll probably be able to see perfectly well close up, but what might... I mean, this is a very clear indicator of difficulties with close vision and long-sightedness. Um, you work hard to see something close up, you can see it, but then when you look away, everything in the background is blurry. Um, so, trying to see up close compromises your long distance vision. Um, that, that's a very clear sign. And the other thing that um, you may find happening over time is um, one eye becomes more long sighted and another eye becomes more short sighted. Um, I'll go into that in another video but Basically, uh, that can be reversed if you stop straining your eyes uh, normally. Um, but yes, that is the signs and symptoms um, that may show you are long sighted. Okay, thank you for watching.